everyone, it's Crystal with ArmyWife101.com, making sure my sound is up. So, you know, we talk a lot about deployments and how they affect us. And one of the ways they do affect us is sometimes you tend not to feel beautiful. You know, you're running with the kids, you're taking care of the house, you're doing activities, all kinds of stuff. You're trying to keep busy. You don't really have the hubby there to, you know, tell you how beautiful you are, although he tells you over the phone. And even when they do, sometimes you just don't feel like it. And, um... I found one of the ways during my deployment that I always felt good was just to kind of make myself up and make myself feel good. And as you can see, I am embracing myself. This is me, Army Wife 101 Crystal. Here, I have no makeup on, no eyebrows, no nothing. This is how I look. So I'm just going to give you um, a quick step-by-step -step of what I do in the mornings, an uh, easy look, because a lot of wives want to wear makeup, but they think it's too expensive. They think you have to splurge on MAC and Clinique and all this stuff, and you really don't have to do that. I like makeup. I do tend to splurge on um, sometimes my foundations and stuff, like for MAC, because of my skin. Don't worry about color-wise, because even though I'm African-American, the colors I'm using, they're not... Um, colors that you know are specific tone wise and all that these are kind of just neutral colors to kind of make you look natural but still have a tint of made upness and i know that's not a word so i'm gonna get started the first thing i do one of the brands i do use that's really cheap you can go to eyeslipsface.com it's elf um a disclaimer i'm not doing anything for elf but i've used their products for years this is a face primer and this kind of and i know it's kind of sunny over here you probably can't see it, but this is the elf face primer I don't know if you could see, but that's kind of what it looks like. And I usually put this on my face. And what it kind of does for me is it sets my face. It kind of keeps your stuff on. Think of your face like as a palette, okay? The next thing I do is I use a concealer. It looks like lipstick, but it's actually concealer. This is by CoverGirl, okay? And I put this, and I know this is not like the YouTube gurus where they're like zooming in and all that because this is not that serious. It's just like an overall technique of what I do so I put this on all my marks because I picked my skin in high school bad habit just did it really didn't care you know you know you pick your skin you just like do what you want to do people think I have super clear skin you can look at my pictures and um, I'm gonna post those up And you'll see that I have, it looks like I have super clear skin when I really don't, okay? So before I start kind of blending in my concealer, this is a LA Colors Concealer. I do use it under my eyes to kind of lighten up that area. And I even put it on my eyes almost like a, a prep for my eyeshadow. Now, for eyeshadows, I'm big on uh, Urban K Potion Primer. But I'm in the house, I'm not going to waste that. So sometimes you can just use concealer. It helps your eyeshadow stay on longer. Um, NYX has these jumbo pencils, the white one. And you can put that on like a little dab of that and it'll help you know your eyeshadow stay on as well. So I'm just gonna take my fingers, literally, and kinda blot this in. I'm taking my concealer and kinda just patting that in. And you'll start to see that my face kinda looks a little bit clearer already. <laughs> this is like makeup surgery. Okay, and this is what I do in the mornings or whenever I decide to get up. Like right now, I'm not getting ready to go anywhere, but I tend to make videos in the evening just because that's when I feel like doing it. And um, so I do this because I don't want to put on a whole lot of makeup. So now I'm taking my foundations. I usually do use MAC a lot of times, but I also use CoverGirl. This is CoverGirl True Blend. And again, I'm pointing it at the mirror like the mirror is the camera. Again, don't worry about, oh, well, I'm not your complexion. I, I'm very aware that I'm black. <laughs> that I'm African American. But you just get the colors that match you, but you can still use the same technique. And I'm putting my powder all over. Um, this is one of my expensive brushes. This is a MAC brush. The numbers have wore off. All the money I paid, I think I paid $32.50 for this brush. The numbers should still be on there. But this is their, I guess, powder blush brush. I don't know. I have this one and I have, think I have their 217 brush, which is good for blending eyeshadows when you get into all that. But this is just basic. So right now, so far, the only thing we've used is what appears to be a blush brush. If you want a cheaper version, this is the e.l.f. complexion brush. It's by e.l.f. I think I paid three bucks for it. So now I'm using this. This is a uh, natural hue minerals. This is also by CoverGirl. And this is brown bronze. This just kind of gives me a, I don't know, a little more color. Because even me, I have my little pale days. 
So the next thing we're going to do, and I use the same brush for everything. I do not have, I do have a lot of brushes, but I don't have time to do, decipher what's what. This is by LA Colors, and this is a blush, and it's actually called Natural, which is why I love it. It's a natural blush, and you should always smile, and it goes in the apple of your cheek, although I tend to put my blush all over my, that area of my cheek. But this is the area that's gonna be accentuated when you're smiling. Okay. YouTube ladies, if you're not into makeup and you really wanna learn how, especially like if homecoming's coming up or R&R's, uh, a lot of boot camp graduations, AIT graduations, all that stuff is coming up. If you wanna learn how to do a nice little look for your man because you ain't seen him in a couple of, I said ain't, I know, improper English. But anyway, you haven't seen him in a couple of months or a year, YouTube is the way to go as far as learning how to do your makeup. I learned a lot off of there and I've always thought that I knew how to do makeup, but apparently I wasn't as good as I thought. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, this is not for everybody because everybody doesn't do the Whoopi Goldberg with their eyebrows. Basically back in high school, I nared my eyebrows. They never grew back in the right way, so I had to shave them all up. Um, if you don't have eyebrows at all and you need to know how to draw them back in, you can use these. These are stencils. I used to use these when I first started, but I don't really need them anymore. Whatever you do, do not go for the Sharpie look. The most best thing to do to get a natural eyebrow is even if you have naturally looks like black eyebrows, use a brown pencil because you're gonna look like you drew your eyebrows in with a Sharpie, okay? So, there you go, so that's one. You don't want it to look too dark. It just looks too harsh and you look mean. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, and this is not for everybody, I hate my nose. I actually contour my nose. And I start by just kind of drawing down a little bit. Okay. And it's probably hard to see. Let me fix the lighting a little bit. Alrighty. So still kind of bright in here, but you'll get the gist of it. Okay. Now you might not show up. This might not show up as well on camera. But in person, it looks super cool. You know, everybody has a complex, so some people say, oh, love yourself no matter what and all that. That's great. But let's not lie. Everybody has complexes. Do I want to get surgery with my nose? I don't know. Probably not. Okay. I was watching there's a great artist on um, YouTube named Candy. And she was talking about this trick Marilyn Monroe used to do with her nose by drawing it down like in a V. And uh, I just totally went inside my nose. Huh. Alrighty. So then you're supposed to like take, you can take your brushes, but because it's supposed to be fast, you kind of just blend it in. And what that does is kind of create like that illusion, that contoured shadow illusion. Then what you want to do is you can take, I guess like a concealer or like a lighter eyeshadow. I'm going to use this. This is the warm bronzer from e.l.f. This is their studio line. And I'm gonna take this color right here. And I'm just gonna literally go down the middle of my nose. If you go on YouTube, you know, you'll learn a lot from the gurus and they're really big into the different brushes and all that. I don't have time for all that. I don't even remember half that stuff. So, I've contoured my nose, can you tell? Now I'm just taking a little bronzer and going up under my eyes. All right, and we're almost done, we're almost done. One thing I know I forgot so far is a mascara, but you should know to put mascara on. And now I'm just gonna do my eyeliner. And let me just tell you, it took me forever in a day to learn how to use liquid eyeliner. I'm such a punk. And then one day I just like opened my eyes really wide and just started going along the lash line. And you can't see it from a distance that I messed up. I don't think you can. So the last thing we're gonna do is take your lip liner, depending on what color you want. I love my pinks because they give you that kissy, kind of young, girly, summery, springy look. I use this type of color. This is called uh, Sweet Maple, and this is more for my nighttime look. And then this right here I got for Christmas some time ago. I got like a, a set of these from Bath and Body Works. It's called Liplicious, and it gives you a really red tint. It's real sparkly though. And um, 
So I use it sometimes. What I'm gonna do is use, this is an auto lip liner. I love these. You can get these like at beauty supply stores, Walmart, whatever. They're cheap. This is by NK. I like them because they're not as hard as like regular hardcore lip liners. Um, or eyeliner pencils or whatever. They go on a little bit smoother. So what I do sometimes is I prep my lips with this primer. Believe it or not. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know, it just does something. I just, this is more of a natural color. I think I'll go with the one. Let's just go with this one because I think this just will show up better on camera. And this is by MIX, Mega Shine. There you go. That is my daytime look. And there you go. You know, you look put together. It's not uh, too over the top. Not too over the top at all. And um, you can wear whenever. So it's good to feel good about yourself. See? Ah! Let me. There we go. So feel good about yourselves, put your makeup on, put the kids in the stroller, and just, you know, you can do this. It's cheap, doesn't cost a lot of money. You can shop at Elf. I am Crystal. Hit me up at crystal at armywife101.com if you have any questions. I'd be more than glad to help you. And remember, just because you're not my complexion doesn't mean you can't do exactly what I just did. Just get your colors. See you soon. Thanks.